All right, we're going to kind of speed run this process of adding Mixamo animations to a Ready Player Me character with GLB being the final export format. So let's start Ready Player Me. We can download our custom character so you can go through their editor and do what you need there. Delete everything out of Blender and we can import our model. In the animation view, we'll open the NLA editor up here, object mode, center it up, and bone viewport, hide shapes, show bones in front. Cool. And just to see what's going on, this looks a little nicer, so we'll go with that. I, uh, rename and main armature. <clears throat> hide him for now. Then we can go to Mixamo and find an animation. So we'll give him an idle. Just a simple kind of standing around lazy animation. We're going to download FBX with skin. We can delete it or it doesn't really matter. We're just going to steal the, the armature data. But somehow with skin seems to work better. Once that's downloaded, you can go back in Blender and import your FBX. This is the important step here. With your idle animation selected, you want to scale it at 10 times. For some reason, the Mixamo animations import into Blender at 0 0.1 scale. So to offset that, we transform the scale on import. Then we manual orientation and Armature, automatic bone orientation, import. So what we need is this animation data down here. All the bones match up to the bones in our main armature, our Ready Player Me character. So we can just copy it here, hide this model, open our main armature, select the bones here, pose mode, all bones, and then we need to create one keyframe of location rotation scale. Then we can paste the data here. So you just want to make sure all the bones are selected when you copy, all the bones are selected when you paste. Name your armature or name your uh, NLA track animation. Call it idle. Push it as an LA track and you're good to go. You can export that. We're going to add two more that do some other uh, things here. So we'll hide our main armature, import object mode, import FBX. We will do falling. Again, make sure the scale is set. And we have this animation that's falling. This one is just bones, no skin, and it should work just the same. So pose mode, all the bones selected, down here copy, hide it back to our main armature. Pose mode, create one keyframe and paste. And now we can see our armature is skydiving. So we'll rename it. We'll call it skydiving. And push it. If we want to modify the position vertically, this is what I wanted to show here. So at the moment, he's sitting above zero. Um, but we can move that by adjusting the hip bone. So the hips are kind of the main point of contact for the armature. If we look at the pose setting here, everything is parented to the hips. So by adjusting the hips, we can tab here to reopen it and we can adjust the hip position. So delete the hip location data. We can create a new keyframe with only the hips selected for location. 
and we can then either move it so the whole animation can happen down here. Make sure that keyframe's set. And by not affecting rotation and scale, everything else seems to act appropriately. And then we can adjust it and animate it if we need. So we'll have it go up and down. I'll add a keyframe at the end and then a keyframe in the middle where it's at a higher height. So bring it up to here, add a keyframe location. And so throughout the animation, the whole animation moves up and then back down. Tab back in and it saves the NLA. The last one we want to do, I'll just select all bones before I tab out here. Import FBX, flare 10 times, looks good. This one's just a bit more extreme. So same thing, copy, do, main armature, close mode, create one keyframe and paste. push it and blender will always show the top track so we can move this idle one up to the top just for a nicer look and that's it so we'll select our hierarchy we can see everything is applied we didn't modify anything in edit or in a object mode just copied animation data file export gltf RPM with Mixamo, include only the selected objects and then the animation data and LA tracks. We can now look at our character. I like Babylon Sandbox as a, an option there to preview our animation. So we can drag over the JLB in here you can see he's skydiving nicely, and we can adjust the animation here. So idle, little bit of a nod, head movement, shifting, break dance, he's going nuts, and then skydiving, he's falling here. Hope this was helpful. Uh, leave a comment with any notes or questions or thoughts, and um, have fun. It's a great way to add some life to your characters.